You get a little worried about, you know, throwing, thrusting your child into the spotlight like that and into an industry that really is an industry. People are exactly. worried. Exactly. I think it makes you more cautious versus to push away mm -hmm. because it doesn't keep me away from the industry because of the parent that I am. Uh -huh. We're positive. We have a great time. My boys love what they do. But I truly believe that we're so used to hearing all the negative stories, those are the ones that stick in our head. Right, but there are positive stories is what you're oh, saying. Oh, so many. Uh, the parents that I know, I don't know a single stage mom. Let me start no. off by saying that. Mm -hmm. The parents that I know, we have a good time. They encourage their children. Uh, we know how to keep it fun. I encourage in my book for parents to keep it a positive experience because great things come from the industry. So you have two boys. Yes. How old are they now? They're eight and six. They're eight and six, and they've been in a laundry <laughs> list of productions. They were in Grown Ups 2 movies, like The Millers. They were in New Girl. Um, these are huge movie sets. And in your book, you say one of the misconceptions that parents have is there's so many people around that your kids are fine, right? You can walk off, maybe go get a cup of coffee, and that's Absolutely. not true. I believe that the parents feel a, a false sense of security mm -hmm. because there are so many people, what could happen? Right. And the number one thing I tell parents, because I talk to all of them on the set, is just follow the ch child labor law that states a parent should be everywhere the child is, within sight or sound, always. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, you will avoid injuries. You would avoid them being around people whom they don't know if you're right there with mm -hmm. them. We were talking earlier and we were saying, you know, your kids are, are working, uh, they're getting great jobs, but at the same time, for, for people who want to bring their kids into Hollywood, it's a full-time job for parents, right? Absolutely. You have to, it starts with the parents, and that's what I always say. From the drive to the commitment to always update their information, auditions, callbacks, and even on set, I'm in LA three to four times a week. Wow. I don't have a job, but <laughs> I it my husband works It yeah, is a job. Really it is can. a job. And that's why I encourage parents in my book to have that family support. My husband works in the industry as well, so I understand the industry differently from other parents. And I'm able to be a full time mom, even a stay at home mom. Uh, I homeschool as well as I just run them across LA wherever they need to go. Mm -hmm. And we have a great time. My, my, the number one thing I want parents to understand is that it's fun. Kids enjoy this if you make it fun. It has to start with the parents. Mm -hmm. Don't put pressure on them, but enjoy the process and every step of the process, and they will enjoy it. When they, if they're not enjoying it, if something comes about where they say, you know what, I don't feel like doing this anymore. I just want to go play with my friends. I don't want to be on movie sets all day. I mean, as a parent, when do you know, like, well, he really has a future here and he's working pretty steady. When do you know that it's just a phase he's going through? Or when do you say, listen, if he's not into it, let's, let's pull him out? I encourage people in my book, you have to know your child. Pay attention to your child. When they want a break, give them a break. Our managers, our, our agent, they understand that and they encourage it actually because they know children can, can be fickle burned out. and sometimes they need a break and it's, it's a wise thing to do. And especially if you have busy seasons, you have to know how to balance it. Balance out your schedule so that they will enjoy it. So far, my children haven't asked for a break, but if they do, then I will give it to them. So and we also have ac activities outside of the industry, which is very important. So your kids, are, they're super cute. Thank you. Super, super, super cute. And obviously, they're, they're working see why kids. They're working Thank so you. <laughs> but you talk to parents out there. Every parent thinks that their kid is the cutest yeah. and that their kid is multi talented yes. and have these huge personalities. One of the things you said in your book is you have to be realistic, right? And one of the things that I like that you said is that rejection is certain. Rejection is certain in this industry. And so disappointments the are guaranteed. Oh yes they are. But for me, my children are younger, so older kids do understand more, but I try to encourage the parents, they're watching your response. Right. Not necessarily, the kids are gonna pick up what the parents are doing. So, if you don't necessarily tell them they didn't get the job, they most likely will forget, you mm -hmm. know, because it's just an audition. An audition, a callback, working on set. When they're younger, they don't understand the difference just yet. Right. So don't distinguish that Build for up. them. Right, keep it fun. Everything is fun. It's a play date. It's one big happy party for us. <laughs> what is the biggest danger, though, facing kids on Hollywood sets? To be honest, I feel that even today, the background checks, mm -hmm. you know, we have the AB 1660 bill um, that was passed in 2012, and managers, PRs, photographers now, um, even um, 
acting coaches are supposed to get a background check, I think we have to do better with educating the parents mm. as well as those who are in the industry. And if they understand the laws that are there, then we'll be more protected if they, at least we start with the laws that we have. All right, Jackie Elam, her book, Cover Your Child in the Entertainment Industry. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was most surprised that managers take 10 to 15 percent. Managers take 10 to 15 percent? Absolutely. Oh my God. On top of agents? Do they On agents top of agents, yes. What? Yes. This and that's why another reason one. why they shouldn't live off the kids, too. <laughs> because at the end, don't there's very the little kids. that the kids get. There's very little after taxes. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jackie. Wow.